Welcome back to Between the Speakers Season 2. I'm your host, Zach Justice. Today we have our best guest we've ever had, Mr. Jason. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I like the ambiance you have going on there. It's um, rivaling, rivaling me. It doesn't normally look this dark. Um, the camera that I use for, for streaming and, and then also for this conversation, uh, the settings just go all over the place. I never really know exactly how it's going to look until... I'm in the meeting, so I'm, I'm saying this, I have a I have a board game table behind me, um, oh, which is cool, but you can't see it because it's too dark. And if I make this the lights much brighter, it's gonna blind me. So you know, we're all just working through it. What, what what's I mean? the main board game that's played on that table? Uh, mainly is a game called Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven, classic. Yes. Play with your grandma, Gloomhaven. <laughs> yeah, right. Gloomhaven was the game that uh, that got my girlfriend and I, Mia, through the first big stretch of uh of quarantine the first wave it's a okay. yeah yeah it's a, it's a very uh involved board game where you create characters and you earn money from doing different scenarios and use that money to buy new equipment it's uh very involved uh and a lot of fun and basically was our was our lives for the first i don't know two months of this and then we kind of got back to real life and started doing so you guys weren't going crazy nonsense. at all just creating your own world in your house at a at a, at a table Normal, normal everyday, everyday stuff uh, you yeah, know everybody no. does it okay i know you stream but i like i like music a lot who do you listen to who are your inspirations when it comes to music your playlists yeah um i never know how to to put it into one category i mean i'm yeah. sure that's the case for a lot of people the my, my number one band of all time has got to be the decemberists the decemberists um yeah you've heard have you heard of them i'm gonna nod like i have Okay. All right. All right. Good. Cool. Good, 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 good host move. Well, yes. they're, they're lead singers. Crazy. Um, you can, he, well, no, he, he's crazy uh, good. As far as lead singers go, he's 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 less crazy than a lot of oh, other yeah. lead singers. That's right. I meant he's contemporary. Oh, oh, well, that would be also incorrect. Sick. If, if I know what contemporary means, which I might not. If I had to guess, he's in the middle. It's, he's, he's very much, you know, he's got a, he's got a weird, like, faux British accent when he sings. It's of very course. strange. My favorite band, um, But I remember that that was the song. I, there was this, There's a song by them that's called The Mariner's Revenge Song, and it's an eight-minute sea shanty about this guy who, you know, his all he wants to do is hunt down the guy who's responsible for his mom's death. And, and I like to think I'd you're blasting heard... this music with your girlfriend while playing that Dude, game. I, Google I am, gobble, like, I, 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 I bang out to these sea shanties because I, I never heard of music like that before yeah. when i heard it for the first time i was like oh my god music can be like this i had no idea so you know other other i love like mumford and sons as well head in the heart um i feel oh, so the first one's that song i haven't heard it but i feel like it's got the vibe that the movie lighthouse has with robert pattinson it does, does yeah it? I, okay. the, the decemberists could absolutely put it, pretty much any of their songs in that movie and it would fit Okay, perfect. Yeah. Look at full circle. We're back to them. Um, yeah. But yeah, speaking of music, I want to show you this really sick game where you can be a DJ around the world. It's, it's like Guitar Hero for, for DJing. Guitar Hero for DJing. I need, I need that. I can't. I would <laughs> can't have live no idea it. how to DJ. Okay. I can like kind of play. I can play guitar, but like I don't know anything about it. So I would need that to feel like, I, like, I, like, I'm, like I'm cool. <laughs> awesome. Let's check it out. So this game is, I mean, look at the venues. You could just absolutely DJ your little heart out. With the current situation in the world, it's nice to be in a virtual crowd, so we can't be in real ones. Yeah, What's I mean, my perfect music well, obviously it starts with the music. Ooh, I want a cowboy hat guy. Call them. I would. Is there a? Can you make yourself a pirate? I or like. So. A, if not, I'll I'll talk to the creator. We'll get the pirate. A villain of the a villain of the high seas. That would be my vibe, a hundred percent. See, cowboy hat guy. I feel like that's my. Who, I feel like you're that guy. Or no, your helmet guy. I'm the, I'm the guy with the, that's that's hiding underneath the fox the fox head. I think. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's. I'm actually the guy ten rows deep in the crowd you can't really see. And I'm just wa <laughs> I'm just watching you. Yeah, no, that's that's me too because I, I'm I'm sitting there going, yes, this is, <laughs> this is. I understand. I understand what's happening here. Yeah. I'm, Uh, we were being too pretentious, thinking we'd be the ones on stage. <laughs> no, probably we're, we're crowds. Yeah. Hot dogs in the background, because why not? We're at a music festival. Everybody likes a good dog. 
Hey, absolutely. So can you can you customize the the stage? You can't customize well? the stage. That's my favorite part. You can't. Yeah, I'm a big, oh, uh, great. big stage customizer guy. Fifty cents on here. That's the reason. Download it. Songs. Whoa. Fuser. Do you have any streamers that you frequently watch? Yeah, uh, Doctor Lupo is my, my probably my favorite. He plays a lot of Escape from Tarkov, which is not a game I understand. Yeah. So I don't. I'm not in his streams when he's playing that. Um, but uh, Lupo, I love. I love uh, this guy Wavy. He's one of the one of the best Fall Guys players out there. Of course, I love uh, Aiden. Was one of the first guys I got to play with on stream. I played Warzone with Aiden. But still, like that was, must have been really cool for you to do. Just yeah. Like, oh my God. Yeah. It was. It was. It was nerve wracking the yeah, first yeah, time, yeah. especially because. You want you know, to do I'm, well it, in front of them, and yeah, yeah, but but I'm not that, but I'm also not as good as he is. Like yeah, I, I yeah, was yeah. trying to keep up, but I was, you know, I was I was doing my best. Well, listen, man, I'm I'm really excited for you to getting in all this streaming stuff. I love when people take like not that it was a huge pivot because it's still entertainment, but it's it's really cool to see someone have like a completely different talent. It, it is it is a pretty big pivot though. I mean, you know, the the amount of people that that will come and say, "Wait, you're a streamer now?" Like nobody's expecting yeah. to see me. Yeah on Twitch, you know, you, you, you expect to see your, your, you know, gamers or your, maybe your entertainers or yeah. whatever, but, but the idea, cause they know who I am already, right? If they, yeah. they, if they go, Oh my God, you're a streamer. Like they're not expecting to see me. They're surprised. Yeah. Um, and it is a different, it's a different skill set for sure. I mean, being able to not only play a game, but also talk to chat, like that's, that took the most honing, I think, yeah. for me over the past year and however long it's been. Um, and I'm still getting better at that every yeah. day, but that's what I like to do. I mean, a lot of streamers will stream and then they'll cut their stream up into a YouTube video and post it to YouTube later. I have a YouTube. I'm, I'm much more interested in seeing people live, you know, not in yeah. person, but like, you know, live interaction is really why I like to come to Twitch. Yeah. Um, cause it's a great way to just hang out for however long. And then you get to like actually see what I'm like. Yeah, in, yeah. Person. in person, it's like, it's, it's like you were hanging out with me in person. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from originally? I am from Southern California. Southern California, so like born in L.A. Bright. Basically, yeah. yeah. So you, okay, so you kind of just grew up in this entire lifestyle. Well, yeah, area more than lifestyle, I would say, because I grew up actually in Simi Valley, which oh, okay. is not in L.A. So yeah. I, when I would go to work, I'd go to auditions. I still would be able. I was able to come back to, you know, a, a life that felt individual yeah. and in separate from the the lifestyle you know have I, you seen the I show the, back and, the real bros of simi valley i have and i'm i'm honestly offended that they've never reached out to me for oh no for like a i don't know if they know well, position off, i have no yeah yeah you're yeah. coming as batman first off now you got that on your resume <laughs> you're sneaking on that show no problem but yeah is that an accurate representation of simi valley not at all <laughs> not in my experience anyway no not at all which is why i want to be like hey like yeah. Listen, you want to, you want some some dirt on Simi Valley? You come to me. But this is, I mean, it, it seems like a good show. It seems like they're, yeah. they're having a great time and they know what they're doing. But is it accurate? Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't want to bring up Disney too much because I feel like you've been exhausted your entire oh, life. Oh, go for it. I'm but I'm down. I'm here for it. How is it? Okay, so I feel like you're trained a certain way when you're on Disney, like the acting and um, the lifestyle and things like that. And now in roles, you're trying because I feel like you're trying to. Um, differentiate yourself a little bit how do you get outside of that Disney aspect I don't know if acting wise or just mindset wise of finding new roles and maybe exploring darker or lighter I don't know yeah well it seems like one lane not totally but just a little bit yeah so the the weirdest thing for me in in that journey has been uh, social media interaction because when I started you know becoming a, a recognizable person I was very much, first of all, I was a kid. I was yeah. like, you know, 15, 16 years old. I was very much trained to, you know, if you, if you post up Twitter or whatever, like scrape, but like never interact with people. Like yeah. don't talk to them, don't yeah. tell them anything. Like it was very, very much the opposite of what it is now, which is you're very much encouraged to. Oh, it's all about to, engagement. Which is, yeah. which is so much better, by yeah. the way. It's so much better. But that took the most sort of unlearning for me, which yeah. was to respond to comments on Instagram, you know, talk to people that are that are interacting with you on Twitter, like to really think of those as, as a way to engage. And then t- Twitch is just all, that's all I do is I play Fall Guys and read chat. Like I yeah. read chat the entire time. Yeah, and that's so it's, how a, you it's, build a, it's a really complete reversal yeah. from what I used to do. 
like, yeah, a lot of my friends who did traditional acting when they were a child, I, I also noticed that they were trained. It's almost like they wanted them to be exclusive, almost to like higher their status. But I think it lowered their status a little bit when it's when you don't engage and get like the audience on a personal level, which I feel like it, that's why I really like what you're doing now with streaming because it's such a personal level. Absolutely. And it can really depend on it could depend on your brand. Yeah. Like, I don't think anybody is thinking less of, you know, people like Christian Bale, for instance, who have has absolutely no social media presence whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's that's like part of it would be weird if Christian Bale was tweeting every you know, yeah, every yeah, couple yeah, yeah. days. It would be weird. Yeah. Especially at this point, you know? Yeah. So I think it I think it helps my brand. I think people are are you know that 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 they're expecting to see me tweet stuff or whatever. So I think it, you know it, it can help your brand. I think it, I think it's more rarer cases where it's better to have no social media because I think you're right. I think more often than not, people perceive that as you know the person thinking they're somehow better than or separate from yeah. or above the their audience. And I think that especially now when people are just well, so many people are are accessible that way. It's 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 usually the wrong way to go. And so many forms of entertainment, you have to stand out and create that personal level now. Or somebody's like, okay, now I'll go to this person that pays attention to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. All right, buddy. It was great, great. talking to you. Where can Same, the world find you? Honestly, the best place to find me is on Twitch. I stream Tuesdays through Thursdays and also Friday nights. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Jason Dolly. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, Jason S Jason underscore S underscore Dolly, and as well as Instagram, J Dolly. Um, the places I, again, the place I'm most active is Twitch and seconds, probably Twitter. Um, and yeah, I play a lot of fall guys, I play scary games on Friday nights and, uh, it's a, it's a good time. Well, we appreciate it. Uh, my Instagram is Zach justice. If you guys want to follow me on anything, um, I need you to get a board game list together for me and send that over. Okay. Um, but, oh, yeah. but love Happy talking to. to you. Same. Thank you for having me. Man. All right, man. I'll see you. See ya.